think that over the last many months, uh, many people have forgotten what this place is. This hill that the media has called, begun to call Opana is not a hill, it's not an outpost. This is the very place that the Jewish people for 3,800 years have been carrying a great tradition that our forefather Jacob, who God called Israel on this very mountain, promised him that the land that he sat on would be his and his descendants, and that he would spread powerfully in every direction, north, south, east, and west, from this very spot. And Jacob woke up from that dream that everyone knows, the dream with the ladder that happened right here, just meters away, and he told to God in this very place that if God would return him to this place, then the stone in which he was sitting, he would build and call a house of God, and he named the name of this place Beit El. And today is the name of the place of Beit El, and it says in the Torah, that we remember that the name of the place before Beit El was Luz. Unfortunately today, the Jewish people after 2,000 years have returned. The people here that stand before you are the very people that are fulfilling the promise that Israel made to God on this very mountain. And today, unfortunately, the government of Israel and the Supreme Court are making sure that the name of this place, Beit El, they would like to see it revert back to the name of its original Toulouse, that we should all be losers that we should all lose that which we've come to acquire over the last uh, many, many years. And I just want to say that the government of Israel may have succeeded in moving the wonderful residents of this hill 500 meters to the right. And previously, the government of Israel succeeded to move the great settlers of Gush Katif a few kilometers to the south or to the east. But let me tell you, on this very mountain, I tell Mr. Netanyahu, I tell Mr. Obama, I tell Mr. Cameron, I tell Ms. Merkel, I tell all the leaders of the international community in this very place, you will never move the Jews from this land of Israel. We are back after 2,000 years of longing and we will never go. We are fulfilling the promise that we made to God on this mountain. And we will do it against all odds, against all adversity. <laughs>